So I'll talk about uh, making stretches today, stretching canvases. And the reason we do this, or the reason I do stretch my own canvases, is that it's quite a nice meditative process before you start a picture. And it actually, in my opinion, weds you to the painting before you um, start painting on it. The other nice thing about the ritual of canvas stretching is that if you know your procedures, there's not really a lot of problems, unlike doing a painting where problems pop up one after the other, canvas stretching is quite a nice meditative process. These are the kind of sort of canvases that are um, floating around in the cheap shops at the moment. It's terrific that they're cheap and uh, easy to get because it's certainly freed art students up from the expensive uh, painting. But they tend to be very lightweight canvas. You can't pull them down and take them apart and roll up the picture and uh, because they don't come apart. So, and they're only about six ounce canvas, so easily punctured. So these are lightweight stretcher bars. You'd use those for any canvas under, say, 30 inches. And you'd use the heavy weights for anything heavier. First thing you do is assemble them. So make sure all the writing's on the one side. You can see they've got nice little dovetail joints. The fantastic thing about these is that if you're a painter, hopefully you'll sell a few paintings, but maybe you won't sell a lot and they'll start to stack up. If they're on a rigid support or a support you can't pull down, uh, you'll end up with a, a lot of paintings stacked in your house, especially if you're painting on wooden boards. So canvas is fantastic because you can take it off the stretcher, reuse the stretcher again for another painting in different combinations and uh, roll your canvases, the old canvases up that you're not using or paint on the back of them. You can turn them over and uh, put them back on the same stretcher and do a new picture. So making sure that you've got, you'll see that there's a beveled side and a flat side. The flat side is the back of the canvas. You want the beveled side to be against the canvas. That way the canvas isn't touching the, um, the wood uh, on the edges because the wood slopes in. So in this case of these lightweight stretcher bars, you would have about a five centimetre um, overhang all around to allow you to stretch it. Try and make sure your canvas is uh, square before you start. So make sure it's all knocked into place. Uh, quite a good idea to put a square on it and make sure it is square. Uh, an easy way of doing that is to measure the two diagonals. If they're equal, then you know that the thing is square. So bevel side down. First thing we do is put a staple in each side. So we'll do a little stretch on this second staple. These are stretching pliers. Um, it's not that hard to stretch unprimed canvas with your fingers. I'll do that again in case you didn't notice. Just fingers against the inside, pushing with your thumbs you get a little crease. Bang a staple in. Going all around. I'll demonstrate the stretching pliers. They're quite useful if you're stretching primed canvas, which is a little bit hard to pull with just your fingers. So you just clamp it, stretch it in, hold it with your thumb, put a staple in. So now we've got the uh, canvas pretty square on the stretcher and we start working around the canvas but going diagonally opposite each time. So one there, then I go to over to there. One here, diagonally opposite to there. That makes your canvas stretching more even. One in here, diagonally opposite to there. The other lovely thing about 10 ounce canvas is it's got a little bit of a coarser weave to it than these cheap canvases. So you get that dimple of the canvas coming up through your paint and it makes it easier to scumble too when you're using dry brush techniques. So we've come to the corners now. What we do is stretch right up to the corner. Put 
and this is the part that most people find trickiest, is doing your hospital corners. Stretching the corner of the canvas is a little bit like the way nurses do hospital beds, so that's why it's called a hospital corner. You grab the end and you rotate it around until you get a, see a diagonal tuck like that. Then you bring it, this loose bit across, and you stretch that on. I'll do that four times so you'll have a chance to see how it's done. Two staples in the corner. Let's do another one. So bringing over the corner, tucking that over, a couple of staples in. Mirror image on the other side, just um, tucking the canvas under on either side. The stretching pliers are useful if you're re-stretching an old painting too, that maybe you're painting on the other side of it, or you want to re-stretch a painting that you've taken off the um, stretcher, then these are quite handy. And then the most satisfying moment of having stretched the canvas, drum.